Take it. Take it, seniors. Take it. Uh, there are many great moments in music history, like when Ray Charles tells Betty Carter to take it, or Buddy Guy said to Junior Wells, or Garfunkel says to Simon, when Jack says to Meg White, or Ike says to Tarantina, Axl Rose says to Slash, take it, take it. And well, they took it. In music, when someone says, take it, well, you take it. As Tommy explained to his little brother, Dickie Smothers, during a rendition of that popular folk song, Cabbage, when Dick refused to take it, Tommy said, didn't you read the folk singer's handbook in music? Uh, in music, when, you, when someone says, take it, you have to take it. You step forward, you start singing. Uh, it makes the song smooth. Uh, a fast, hard, hitting, paced song when you say, and when you say no, when you say no, it ruins the pace of the whole thing. So I say to you, seniors, take it. The first rule you see of improvisation is acceptance. It is to agree, writes Tina Fey, author, actor, comedian, and star of Saturday Night Live, she says, say yes, because when you say yes, you have agreed. And then, and then only after you have agreed and said yes, only then can the scene begin. This from the rules of improvisation and how to reduce body fat, the little essay. Faye says, start with a yes and see where that takes you. Consider, for instance, A.B. Wambach, an American soccer player, coach, and two-time gold medalist, FIFA world champion. She says, I have never once dribbled the whole field and scored a goal by myself. That brings us to the second rule, say yes, and here community is made. Yes, and in other words, Faye says, you have to contribute to be part of the community, part of the team. You have to enhance the yes by adding a thing, a word, an action, an idea of your own, something uniquely yours. Tina Fey gives the example, let's say, uh, you say, I can't believe it's so hot in here. You say in your mind, yes, and you say to back, what did you expect? We're in hell. When you are invited to take it and to say yes, you have to Add something of your own. Make the story move. The third rule of improv is to make statements. Faye says, don't just sit around raising questions and pointing out obstacles. Nobody likes to work with those folks. Statements are not all written, though, or vocal. Statements can be actions, too. You have to make a statement, yes, and, and be bold. Faye reminds her women readers, speak in statements instead of apologetic questions. Don't add uncertainty, but clarity. The last rule is this, that there are no mistakes in improv. This may be different in life, but I think Faye is mostly right. Most of life, most of it, like improv, is acting, bumbling, restarting, and learning. About the only problem with success, the great baseball uh, manager Tommy Losorda says, is that success doesn't teach you how to deal with failure. In one of the very best small books for leaders uh, uh, of every kind of endeavor, uh, Chris Argyris of Harvard writes, teaching, small, teach, teaching smart people how to learn. And, and what he points out in this little, little tome, when you read it in the night, is that people only learn and grow, improve and develop if they are failing. The cognitive rules of learning require agility that's only created by failing and adapting. It is a kind of double loop learning, if you will. That's what he calls it. So I invite you seniors to take it. Take it and add to it and make it bold and fail gloriously. The truth is, 
that you may be tempted in that moment of failure when you burn out, when you find that you spent all your time and love making money and it all falls to pieces anyway and you feel like coming home, you need to remember one more time to take it, take it to the limit one more time. Wait, that's an Eagles song. But I think you get the idea. You, you, you are prepared for this moment. To leave, to take it, to go. Sure, it didn't turn out like you thought, like I thought. Your big plans changed, and it was completely out of your control. But you were prepared for that too. Because we've given you something very important. Your teachers, coaches, chaplains, your parents. Episcopal High School has given you a particular and unique cultural gift, a gift that has prepared you to take it and make it your own, add to it, and even learn from the failure of it all. And that is we've given you a sense that there is something more. There is something more to life than yourself. There is a greater good than your good alone. You have learned it on the field and on the stage, in the concert hall and through chapel, sports, academics, and the arts. You have learned that there is a good beyond our own personal flourishing, a cultural good, a communal flourishing worth investing in and sacrificing for. You have learned that giving to and working for, supporting the greater communal good is the very best part of living. That is why you have figured out how to learn together, how to sing together, how to work together, how to meet up together, uh, physically distanced, of course, how to celebrate birthdays together and even grieve together all the while this virus has tried to separate you. You figured it out, how to do this, even though you and everyone else listening to this wanted something different for you in this moment. This is why, this is why as the great business guru Peter Drucker quipped so wisely, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Culture eats strategy, culture eats the best laid plans, the biggest interruptions and disruptions. Culture eats failure, it eats all of it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have this culture that we've given you. You have what you need, not only to flourish as individuals, but to do so in the midst of relationships, family, and friends. Moreover, to help the world around you flourish, uh, the neighborhood around you, the people around you to flourish. Because you know what it means to be community. Who, despite your differences and all the stuff that is in between you over these many years, you are a community that cares for each other and leans towards each other. Not only survives, but perseveres and excels. The capacity to understand what it means to be and to hold responsibility in your hands for the good of the whole, this is what has been gifted to you, given to you for this moment. Improvisation is key in music and sports and business and in teamwork, in art and in the written word, it is key with partners and friends and parents and siblings. The jazz musician, Louis Armstrong, it was a master of improvisational music at the end of his amazing career says, what we play, after all, what we play is life. So seniors of 2020, I say to you with great love and admiration with great hope and expectation. Take it. Take it.